we are going to see how we solve simultaneous equations by elimination method. How to solve simultaneous equations by elimination method. We look at an example here. 2x plus 3y is equal to 78. 3x plus 4y is equal to 108. Add to these two, 2x and 3x, you get the LCM of 2 and 3. The LCM of 2 and 3 is what? 6. The LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. To get 6 here, you will multiply these two by 3. So, come and write here that you will multiply this by 3 to get 6. And you will not only multiply this by 3 to get 6, you will also multiply this by 3 and also this by 3. Okay? We come to this other one. How can we make this to be 6? What can we multiply 3 with? To get 6, you multiply by 2. 3 times 2 is 6. So you come here and write that. You will multiply by 2. And once you multiply this by 2, even this one will multiply by 2. Even this one, you will multiply by 2. So let us now multiply. 2x times 3 gives us 6x, okay, plus 3y times 3 will give us 9y. Then you come to this, 78 times 3 will give you what? You multiply out, you will get 234, okay? So you would try everywhere by that number, by 3, by 3, by 3. Then we go to the second equation. You multiply by 2 here, you get 6x. Plus, multiply by 2 here, you get, you get 8y. You multiply 108 by 2, you get 216. Right? I hope we are together. Then, from there, you come to your terms here. This is 6x and this is 6x. How can you eliminate the x's here? How can you do away? To eliminate is to do away with. So, how can you eliminate 6x? It's by subtracting. So, by subtracting, you will do away with the x's. So, you put a line here. You put a line there. So, 6x minus 6x gives us 0. And therefore, in that case, we have eliminated or we've done away with x. You continue. You come here. You say 9y minus 8y. 9y minus 8y. 9y minus 8y will give us what? 9y minus 8y will give us y. You remain with 1y. So you write y is equals to, you go to the other side, 234 minus 216. 234 minus 216, if you subtract, you will get what? You will get 18. And so this is the value of y. That is the value of y. Okay. Now, now that you've got the value of y, how will you get x? How will you get x? You take this y and you substitute in either the first or the second equation. So, substitute substitute y is equal to 18 in the first or the second equation the first or the second equation. The very original ones, either this or this. So, suppose we take the first one there, so we'll come and write 2x plus 3y, 3y. 
But our y is 18. Come and write here, 18 is equals to what? 78. Alright? Then, come and write that 2x plus 18 times 3 will give you 54 is equals to 78. Alright? So, 2x therefore is equals to what? 78. You take 54 to the other side. If it was plus here, if it goes to the other side, it will become minus. And therefore, you say minus 54. And so, 2x is equals to what? Subtract these two, you will get 24. 24. And therefore, what is your x? You come here, divide by 2, go to the other side and divide by 2. By 2 by 2. And therefore, you get x is equals to what? 24 over 2 gives us what? 12. And so, this is the value of x. So, in short, it is a matter of equating these two. You first get the LCM. The LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. Then you ask yourself, how can I make this to be 6? I have to multiply it by 3. You come and write it here. How can I make this to be 6? I have to multiply it by 2. You write it here. Then this 3 multiplies everything. You get this. This 2 multiplies everything. You get this. Then you subtract to eliminate the axis, to do away the axis. So you get y is equal to 18. After getting the value of 1, you substitute in either the first or the second equation, you substitute y there so that you get x. And that is what we've done here. You have substituted y is equal to 18 here. And therefore, from there you work out and you get the other value. So, go and practice with the uh, relevant books that have such kind of equations, solving simultaneous equations. Thank you very much. Uh, God bless you.